In this video we'll have a look at some text functions which are not often used, but which you should have just in case you need them. I'm Philip Burton of filecats.co.uk. So there are three functions that I want to have a look at. And the first one is replicate. So what replicate does is it repeats a string as many times as you want. So I've repeated zero five times, or 10 times, or 20 times. So this can be quite useful if you don't know how many times you want it to be replicated. So let's take an example. I'm going to have a look at a table, a built-in table, which is called sys objects. And we've got two columns in there we're going to look at, object ID and name. Suppose I wanted object ID so there are leading zeros because this goes up to quite a big object ID with 10 characters here. So suppose I wanted the first one to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3. Well, I could do this by inserting as many zeros as I need. So we have this object ID. I don't know how long it is, so we can just find that out by using len. And we can see that it is this many characters long. Now notice I'm using len on an integer, specifically a big int. So it does convert it into a string when needed. So if it goes all the way to 10 characters, then the number of zeros I need is 10 minus this. So for the very first item, there are nine zeros needed, and then we need eight and so forth, all the way down to zero. So I can replicate as many zeros as I need. And that number is that. So if I put in that I'm replicating the number zero for this many times, and if I don't have a plus because this is a string which equals zero when converted to a number, added to a number, so it's going to convert this string into a number, if instead of that I use the concat formula, and I've got a video on concat if you're wondering how this works, then you can now see that I've got as many zeros as is needed to bring everything to the right hand edge. So all of the numbers are aligned this way. Now, personally, this is not the way that I would do this. I would use the format option instead. So I would say I want to format this using that many zeros. Gives exactly the same results. In fact, you could, if you wanted to, say replicate zero 10 times here. But that's actually longer than just writing it out. So where else could we use this? Well, let's have a look at another thing from sysobjects, and that is the name column. So the name column is all left aligned, as you can see. Now suppose I wanted lots of dots, or periods, full stops, so that they all get right aligned to the same place. So if I go up here, results to text, this will put it into courier, and you can see they are not right aligned. So how many dots do I need? Well, what's the biggest one? So if I get the len, and I order by the len of the name descending, you can see that the biggest item has 44 characters. So let's have enough dots to take us up to 44. Your results might be different, of course. So I need 44 less the len of name. But there's another way of doing this. I could just say, give me, say, 50 dots. Okay, so I'm getting 50 dots and then the name. Then I will say, I just want the right hand most 44 characters. So that will get rid of any surplus dots that I don't need. So let's have the results to text. And here, now you can see they are all right aligned. So it's not often that you will need this, but it's useful for you to know this. Now, if you want to just have spaces, then you don't need to use replicate and then say space, although you could, of course, do that. 
Instead, what you can use is just space. So it'll give me 10 spaces. Now, if I play this, then you can't see the spaces. So what I'll do is I will put a dot at the beginning and a dot at the end. And here you'll be able to see the 10 spaces. And the final function, again, I don't think I've ever used this, but it's useful just to know is the reverse function. So the reverse function just puts something backwards. So if I have a look at, for instance, name, and I have the backwards version, then you can see here is the backwards version. So sys files one becomes one S-E-L-I-F sys. Now I can do this with numbers as well. So if I put in the object ID, then again, it converts it into a string because we know that the reverse function requires a string. So here we've got the number 16, which is 61 backwards. So in this video, we've had a look at replicate and some of the uses for replicate and that we can also use space if all we need are spaces. And then just a bit of fun, we've had a look at how we can put things backwards. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like it, then please click the like button and why not subscribe and click the bell next to it so you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you for watching this and keep learning.